Hey guys, B1 Studios here, and today we're going to be going through an Adobe Illustrator and After Effects and Element 3D tutorial. And uh, basically what we're going to be doing is taking a logo that we create in Adobe Illustrator and taking that and putting it into After Effects so that we can edit it in Element 3D, which is a video copilot plugin for After Effects. If you haven't heard of it before, it is an amazing plugin and it basically lets you create 3D objects that render really fast and it's just a great plugin. So let's get started. So the first thing we're going to want to do is actually create a logo in Adobe Illustrator. So here I have Illustrator and I'm just going to go ahead and open it up and create a new file and uh, we're not going to worry about any of this stuff just I'm going to make a random logo just for the purposes of this tutorial so I'm just going to I don't know maybe draw a rectangle another one and maybe let's not do that and just a simple three rectangles and I'm just going to put uh, intense logo and we're gonna make that bigger obviously so that you can actually see it and that is looking intense so um, now maybe just add some color to it um, I mean really this is just for the purposes of this tutorial I'm just gonna go and make a really random logo and obviously you can do what you want with your logo and having prior knowledge in Illustrator is probably going to be a good idea. Okay, now here's the important part. We are going to have to take this entire logo and basically convert it into masks because the problem with Element 3D is that it doesn't recognize just pure Illustrator files. So you can't just say, oh, I'm going to drag an Illustrator file into After Effects and then have that linked to the Element 3D plugin. It's not going to work. So basically what you do instead is you take the basically shape of the logo and convert it into a mask so that you can take the mask and put it into After Effects. First, what we're going to do is select all of the stuff on your logo. Control A also works. And we're going to go to Object and Expand. And once we click that, just make sure everything's selected and hit OK. So now you're going to notice that a bunch of points have showed up where the text is. And if I zoom in on that, you'll notice it's actually plotted a bunch of points there. And this is what we want so that we can actually take this and turn it into a mask. Now, I also want to address another alternate method of doing this. So when I was putting the B1 Studios logo into Element 3D and trying to go through this mask process, I found that actually the expand function wasn't working. And here's another way to sort of go about it. So I've just created another new um, blank sort of file here and all we're going to do is make another logo and this time what we're going to do instead is well I mean just make a bunch of random shapes again but if you add a line of any sort that's what I've found or I mean I haven't really tested a lot of different possibilities but if just expanding it doesn't work in the first place then you might want to try this so here I am just making my rectangles. Now I'm going to add a line. And um, we're just going to draw this line, straight line, and maybe add a little bit of, uh, well, increase the thickness and maybe add a little bit of uh, shape to it. So now we have a line and we're just going to position everything so that um, it looks a little better. And again, this is not a real logo, it's just for the purposes of this tutorial. 
And once again, might as well add some text, I don't know, Intense Logo 2, maybe. And uh, we're gonna blow that up. And make it bigger. Yes, it's looking nice. So, we're just gonna move it around. I don't know, just play around with it a little. Now, here's the thing. If I select everything and I go to Object, you'll notice that the Expand function is actually, you can't select it. So, instead we're gonna go to Expand Appearance first. And now you'll notice that the line has actually been outlined a little bit. And uh, now we're gonna go back and now we can expand it. So we're gonna hit expand and here we're just going to hit okay. All right, so now we have our fully expanded logo and all we have to do now is take this logo and put it into After Effects as a mask. So, how we're going to do that is make sure everything is selected. Command C on Mac or Control C on Windows. To copy it, and now we're just going to take After Effects and uh, make a new composition by pressing Control M, Command N. And um, now we're going to make a new solid, which is Command Y. And we're just going to go along with it. and. All we have to do is select the black solid that we have here and command V to paste it. And there it is. Now you'll notice it's all transparent and that's because it's comprised of masks and this is what we want. This is how we're going to take the shape of the logo and link it into Element 3D. And if you notice, when I deselect, you can't see it because it's a bunch of masks. And if I take it and reselect the layer, you'll be able to see it again. All right, so now I'm actually on a computer that has Element 3D on it. So this is gonna be great. And uh, we're just gonna replicate what we did just now. Select the whole logo and Command C or Control C in this case to copy it. And now we're going to go right into After Effects. And uh, since I'm working on dual monitors right now, I'm going to have to drag the windows over, create a new composition. Actually, we'll make the color of the composition black, in case it wasn't already. Not that that actually matters, but that's just the background color you're going to have. And now we're going to go ahead and make a new solid again and click OK. Now we're going to take the logo and paste it right in with Command V or Control V. Now here's the fun part. So we're going to need to put Element 3D on a separate layer. So I'm going to rename this as masks and to rename you just press enter and then rename it and here I'm just making another solid and we're going to rename this one element just to stay organized because being organized is always very important so effects and presets we're going to search for element and just drag that over and this is standard procedure for any plugin or effect that you're going to apply and now in this element effect we're going to go to custom layers and custom text and masks under that drop down in layer one we're just going to select our masks layer and then enter the scene setup by hitting that rather large button and here we are in element 3d and just click extrude and voila you'll notice that we have a complete 3d logo that's rendering quite well and uh, if we just throw on a little preset there it's already starting to look pretty intense and uh, maybe I want to 
extrude it a little bit more and make it look a little bit more 3D. And uh, if I just move around here, you'll notice that this is my logo and it is looking wonderful in Element 3D. So once I'm satisfied with how my logo looks, I'm just gonna hit OK. And maybe we just want to make it a little bit smaller under the particle look and particle size. And perhaps we want to add a camera. And just a 50 millimeter camera should be okay. And select the camera tool and sort of pan around. And you'll notice that Element has very fast rendering. That's all there is to it. We've taken our logo that we created in Adobe Illustrator and transferred it over to After Effects as a mask. We've linked it to Element 3D, extruded it, and made it look awesome. Hope you enjoyed this tutorial.